Let's Gamer Plays! Yeah! Welcome back to Staring at Walls, starring Lunk and me, Mad Hat Gamer. Today we... Today, yeah, today we have done a lot of things. But we will also go meet a chick. Because she's a bird. She's a chick. She's a chick bird m woman. Girl. Point is, she's adorable. And we're going to go on a date. Wink. Going to go on a, the best date ever with uh, another species. This is a good day for mankind. Ah, oh, and this doesn't look like a nice place for a date. What do you think? Hello. I guess it's to be expected in this heat, but just take a look down there. Dragon Rose Pond is completely dried up. There it is. And that is my dating place. Let us jump down there. Let us jump down there. Let us jump. No, okay. I will take another way down. Just because I can't get down from here. I honestly thought that was the way I was supposed to go, but no. I'm supposed to go here. Get out of my way, bird. No bird is getting in my way. Not today. Not ever. We shall not give up. We shall not succumb to the birdman. We shall prevail. Humankind shall prevail. Hello, bird. You actually came. I'm going to come even more. Okay, I shouldn't really be making those kinds of jokes when there's children involved. Uh, you see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. Then the great Baloo Baloo, he became so angry and... In his rage, he shook the mountain, and his boulder crashed down, plunging his ring. Oh, that's very good aim, Mr. Baloo. Where's my mind? Your mind is in your head. How was Prince Komali? He was nice. No, he was actually a douche. That doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn the Prince Komali is taken. Don't blame yourself. Please. That's not nice. Prince Kamal, his grandmother, was the Great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman, I was honored to ha have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Balu. I'm not yet worried about being mentioned in the same breath. You have to stop being so hard on yourself, okay? You're cute and you are a bird. If those two are in the same sentence, then you have a good life. I, okay. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Uh, sure. Phew, thank you so much. Pick me up. That's... Pick... Okay. I usually have to take that incentive myself. But now when the girl just asked me to pick her up. I can't deny it. I can't refuse. So pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Okay, I'm going to throw the hell out of you. We're going to do it like this. I'm going to go up here. And we're going to have to wait for the wind to blow in the right direction. Come on, wind. Work with me here. Come on. Wind. Come on, wind! Wind? Wind, I'm not joking here. Do as I'm telling you. Wind? There we go! Whee! First try, bitches! Oh, thank you! I, f I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Bully. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may be just an apprentice attendant, but I can understand the Great Valu's language. Not a second person in the company, but... You have some respect for yourself, lady. Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Komali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. What is it? Give it. Give me, 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 give most valued treasures of all Zelda games. 
and they are awesome in many ways. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things, okay? Oh, and please don't tell him. Oh, I'm going to tell everyone. It will be a secret. It's a secret to everybody. To both of us. You had you get some damn confidence, girl. While I'm you while you're getting confidence, I will be getting some water. Yay! You fill your bottle with water, try pouring it on someone that looks dry and wither. Like Kamali. If I'm pouring water on him, will he become a happy person? I don't know. But water can change the world. But it can't change grumps like Kamali. And now we can use this water to magically make this boom. That's the best water I've ever seen. I'm going to do it like this. And we're going to wait, wait, wait. Come on, blow up, blow up. Boom! First try again. Bum, ba da dum, bum, bum. Ba. Oh, I'm so good at first things. And look at all this water. Oh. It should be pretty hot right now because it's. Like a, a volcano and shit. Hmm. But wait, was that all the water that was in the spring? Shouldn't it be like filling up even more and like drowned and tire island? I don't know. I'm no water expert. Yeah. Uh, these dangerous things are growing everywhere on this stupid island. Huh. Throw. Okay. Second try. Boom. Okay, third try. Boom. Aha! There we go. And now I'm going to do it this on the first try too. I... Huh. Don't be quiet. This is a let's play or something. I don't know. This is something I should talk on. This is a really unexciting part. What's coming next is exciting. But this isn't... Oh, have you ever wanted to... Ouch. Ouch. I burned my butt. And I landed right over here. How did I get here? Hold on just one split in second. Why did I get over here? Jeez. I was burned so bad I had to travel back through time. And space. Huh. And I... Oh, thank... Oh, I don't have to do this again. <laughs> Woohoo! And now comes the exciting part. We're entering our first dungeon. Woohoo! Or I am, at least. You're not. You're just watching. Dragon Roost Cavern. The first... Ah, uh, the first cavern and dungeon of the game. And the first puzzle is very easy. Pull, pull, pull. How, how is it pulling that anyway? It like grabs a flat surface and then just, oh, I, oh, fighting. Hello, karate man, karate pigs. I could beat both at the same time because that's just how I roll. And you die. Uh, these pots will come to use later on because I don't think this one is activated. See if I jump down here. Whee! I do a super somersault of awesomeness. But there will be several more of those uh, later on. And you can use them to teleport throughout the dungeon. And it will be great! Oh, I'm just goofing around. What a surprise that I'm goofing around. See, this puzzle is that you're going to burn this. And you're going to walk over to the torture so tortures. Torches. I'm going to burn these. And bada bing bada boom. We have a treasure chest. And in this there should probably be a key. Oh, oh, ouch. I almost burned myself. I burned myself today. Ah. Oh. And as it told us right there, you can all only use the keys to get in this dungeon. In this dungeon, so you can pick up a key and go to another dungeon and expect to open it. Why you would do that, I have no idea. Ah, uh, these keys are made for these dungeons. And we have a fire dungeon to begin with. It's hot. 
And uh, apparently a lot of people died here and lost their other bones except for their heads. These are the magic wonders of Hyrule. We're, we're not really in Hyrule. Are we? No. This isn't Hyrule. Hi, it is a slow rule. Ha <laughs> ha Puns. It was a real un good pun. Shut up. Don't try to make puns. Oh, I don't really know what this world is called. It, I don't think it even has a name. Bat, I'm trying to talk about worlds. And you're squeaking right in my face. I don't think this world has a... I'm trying to throw bombs here. Get out of my way. Uh, no, I don't really think this world has a name. So this is the world of hum hum hum. This is the world. This is I'm really need no no singing please. And this is logic. If you throw a barrel of water into the lava, you will get a platform. This is a science. Science plus water plus lava equals more science. Hmm. Green. Oh, and we get the map. Whoopie de doo. We already got a map in the Forsaken Fortress, and... Wait, does the Forsaken Fortress count as a dungeon? If it does, then I would... I take back everything I've said about this being the first dungeon. Well, this is the... Oh, you sneaky jelly thing! Give me your innards. Give me your heart. I got his heart. Mm, I have his heart. Ah... Uh, I remember the first time playing this, just like <laughs> the Forsaken Fortress, I got a bit confused, because as we will see later on... Oh my, oh my, he burst right through the woods. As we'll see later, this dungeon doesn't only take place indoors, it will also take place outdoors. Spoilers, I'm a spoiler. I will burst through the wood. And... Hmm, where am I supposed to go? Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh, I will use my super sword. Oh, sword, sword, jelly, jelly and swords. Grab it, jump it, jump down again, because I want this. I got red shoe jelly. Keep it in your spawns bag. This gelatinous goo comes from deep within red shoe shoes. It is effective as a cure for exhaustion, but it can't be used in this current state. Wink, wink. There is a place on Windfall that I forgot to mention. It's a place where you can get uh, potions and stuff. And drugs and horrible things only adults should be able to get. But I, this boy has a pretty good chance of getting those stuff too. As long as you have the right amount of money, you can get anything. And if you have a sword, then you can kill pretty much anything. Boom. Give me your intestines, boy. Thank you. And as you can see, you were keeping these in the spoils bag. Two red shoe jellies I have. Ah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. oh. Guess what we're going to do here? We're going to get the pot, and we're going to throw. And boom. And that's how you puzzle. Puzzle is now a verb. And since we have a new keep, we're going to... I am keep referring to myself as a... As we. I am legend because I am many. Oh, you are many too. But you don't have swords. Which makes you less superior. Less superior? It makes you. That makes me superior. So there. Let us smash this. Oh, what? Where? He was hiding in that pot. How did it fit in there? Why didn't you die? Please. You had a sword, right? Where's the sword? No. Yo, oh, you had a stick. Whoopity do. You and that stick fit in that pot. That is just. Boom! Mind blowing to the max. Let's press this button. I wonder who built this dungeon. Like. Was it the Rito tribe? Why would they make it so complex? We can't just walk through. Oh, I see. I see their point. Since they have wings, they can simply fly to the top of the mountain. While those without wings have to go through all these trials. Ah. Those are fucking assholes. Oh, we have wings. 
We can fly everywhere we want. But you, if you don't have any wings, you have to go through all these trials because we are douches. Hey, bird. Oh, come on. I had my shield up. Jeez. Let us sidle. Let us sidle through this mess. Come on. Lunk. Lunk. This doesn't bode well. Come on, Lunk. Lunk. Please. Thank you. Woo. And we need a bomb. Where's my bomb at? Where's my bomb at? He has some pretty strong muscles for a small kid. I wonder how long he can hang here. Let's not find out. Because then he will fall to his doom. Look at that, how far it is down. It is dangerous. Dangerous is Belarus. Dangerous in Belarus. I'm all over the Russian stuff. Come on, blow up. Because who doesn't like the Russians? Wink, wink. White Russians are the best Russians. Oh no, that isn't. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm even doing at the moment. I'm just babbling even more than usual. Oh, let us just climb up and when we get to the next room, I will bid you adieu. Now I will bid you adieu and I will... Well, okay, I will answer this first. Hey, look, everything is filthy thieving. Oh, that's racist. I know they are annoying, but keep your wits about you, they are only rats, all easy for you to say. If you spread bait near the nest, they might be sharing the store of trash with you, why don't you try? So first they're filthy, and now you're expecting me to buy stuff from them? Hmm, maybe I do that in the next episode. Oh, it's going to steal my money, goodbye, I'm going to burn.